Hey, it's Lacey from Grand Model Repair. Today we have a question that we're going to help you answer. Is right now the right time to purchase a new vehicle? You've probably seen the commercials or maybe you've seen it online. Auto sales companies right now are offering to help us get into a new vehicle quickly by offering us deals like 90 to 120 days of deferred payments or extended loan periods of 60 to 84 months. Purchase your vehicle online and have it shipped to your home for free. Some companies are even offering 0% interest financing. Are these great deals really? The better question is, is right now the right time to make a large purchase, such as purchasing a brand new vehicle? At Grand Model Repair, we have prepared a few questions that we suggest that you go through to consider whether or not right now is the right time for you to purchase a new vehicle for yourself or for your family. Here's the first question. Were you already in the market for a new vehicle? If your immediate answer is, well, no, but with these deals, now is the perfect time. Then I would like to caution you to take a step back. Continue through the rest of the questions in this video and stay tuned until the end where we are going to show you a true cost of car comparison chart to help you understand the total costs that are involved in purchasing a new vehicle. The second question is this, do you already have a good working vehicle? Sure, it's nice to have new things. Right now especially, we can't wait to get out of our house to do fun things again. Once we're finally able to get out of the house again, it would be awesome to get out there on the open road, to get out there on the open road in a brand new vehicle. We all love that new car smell. Most of us do. And being in a nice, new, clean car, it just feels good. On top of that, if your current vehicle has a lot of maintenance or repair charges that you're looking at having to pay in the near future, it can sound really nice to think that you could have a brand new vehicle at no cost to you for the next three months. But the real question that we're all hoping to answer, will it really save me money in the long run if I go buy a new vehicle now instead of doing the repairs to my current vehicle? If you are struggling with this question, then I urge you to wait until the end of the video where we will do the true cost of car comparison chart so that you can answer this question better yourself. The third question that you should ask yourself is this. Is it the most financially responsible thing for me to make a purchase like this right now? Let's be honest, it's risky. None of us know how much longer we're going to be in this current situation. We're not spending our money on the same things that we were before. We're not eating out. We're not walking through the shopping mall, making purchases that we don't necessarily need. We're not going out to entertainment venues like the movie theater. We've canceled all of our upcoming travel plans. And some of us are saving money on gas because we're not doing our normal driving routines right now. You may start to notice that you have more money in your savings account or you're anticipating money that you'll be getting soon. And you're thinking, I know how I could put that money to good use. Don't forget, we're still at the beginning of all of this. If it goes on longer than we anticipate it to, we may end up relying on our savings account in order to get us through these uncertain times. Making a large purchase right now may not be the best idea since we don't know what things are going to look like in the next three or four months. Sure, the payments for your vehicle may be deferred for right now, but what are your bills going to look like three months from now? None of us know what things will look like in the next three months. Even if we do get back to some sort of normal, we may not be ready for an added expense to our bills right when we're starting to get back on our feet again. It's certainly something to consider. The last question that we have for you before we move on to the true cost of car comparison chart is this. Is a new vehicle the way that you really want to spend your money? With so many things closed off to us right now, purchasing a new car right now may scratch that itch. You know, the one that's telling you that you really want to get out there and do something fun right now. But is that really the way that you want to spend your money? If the 
if the purchase of a new vehicle is <laughs> oh my goodness not even gonna try are you done no if a new vehicle is in your immediate future anyway the answer for you may be yes i waited so long <laughs> it was quiet and then i start recording again and he does it again <laughs> Maybe he's done for now. <laughs> for everyone, this answer is going to be different. If the purchase of a new vehicle is already in your immediate future, for you, this answer might be yes. But if you're looking at buying a new vehicle right now because these deals sound so great and too good to pass up, and because you're looking for something fun to do right now, the answer might be no. You may want to consider saving your money for something else for you and your family to do once we're finally able to get back out of our houses again. Maybe you want to take your family out to dinner. A lot. Maybe you want to go to an entertainment venue like the movie theater or C3. <laughs> or maybe right now is the right time to start saving up money for that next big family vacation or maybe your first big family vacation once we're finally able to travel again. The point is, to make sure that whatever your decision is, if you're undertaking the purchase of a new vehicle, make sure to put into consideration how that purchase is going to affect you financially down the road. One way that we want to help you with that is by showing you a true car cost comparison chart. Let's talk about this chart for a moment and I'll explain to you where you can find it. If you go online to Google, whatever search bar you like to use, and you type in edmunds.com true cost to own. That's E-D-M-U-N-D-S dot com true cost to own. Choose the edmunds.com website that says cost of car ownership five year cost calculator. I'll put a link on our blog and I'll put one in the description under our YouTube video. Basically, you can use this website to calculate the total cost of owning a vehicle not just purchasing it, but owning it over the next five years. It includes estimates for things like insurance costs, maintenance and repair costs, taxes, fees, interest when financing, depreciation costs, and fuel costs. All of them are estimations, of course. It breaks this down into a five-year chart, which is the same amount of time if you were to choose a 60-month loan. And it shows you an estimation of what you're going to pay on your new car during that time period. I'm going to show you an example of a 2019 Chevy Impala. On their website, not only can you put in the make, the model, the year, and style of vehicle that you're looking for, but you can also input your zip code to give more accurate examples for the area where you live. For our example, I'm going to input 98338, which is our zip code here in Graham, Washington. You can read on their website details of how they calculated all of these costs. For example, they use assumptions such as that you'll be using a 60 month loan, that you'll drive an average of 15,000 miles per year, that you're financing the vehicle and not leasing it, that you have an above average credit rating, and that you are putting down a 10% down payment on your vehicle. If any of these things differ for you, for example, if you do not put a down payment, if your credit rating is higher or lower, if you do a longer or shorter loan period, or if you drive more or less than 15,000 miles per year. This will either make your actual cost higher or lower, depending on your changes. So let's take a look at our example of a 2019 Chevy Impala over a five year period of time. If you look in the column for year one, you'll see that they have estimated the insurance for a new 2019 Chevy Impala as $773 for the first year. They've raised it a little each year over the five year period. For maintenance costs, they show little maintenance for the first year, and then it raises up a little over the years after that. Repair costs are none in the beginning, and then they go up a little bit after that. For taxes and fees, 
They're higher in the beginning when you first purchase your vehicle. And I assume that the $50 a year is probably for car tabs. For financing, the interest in the beginning of the loan is always higher than the years after. For depreciation, we all know, as soon as you drive off that lot, the depreciation and value for your vehicle shoots down pretty quickly. And then it goes down each year after that. For fuel costs, they've done an average here for 15,000 miles per year. At the bottom, they show a true cost for your first year of $17,453. For the second year, $6,083. For the third year, $5,783. For the fourth year, $6,269. And for the fifth year, $6,934. The total five-year estimated cost is $42,522. Now keep in mind, that does not include the cost of your vehicle. The cash price that they've shown for this vehicle is $28,656 in addition to the cost for owning and driving your vehicle for that first five years. When you add those two amounts together, you get the total five-year cost for your brand new vehicle is $71,178. That's a lot. Now that we've looked at the total estimated cost of owning a vehicle for the first five years, let's discuss what that means compared with your current situation. If you already have a working vehicle that's already been paid off, you're golden. You've already been down in the trenches paying the big bucks that come with paying off your car in the first five years. Or even better, maybe you bought your, your vehicle used, avoiding some of the depreciation costs. And maybe you were even able to avoid some of those costs like interest by paying for your vehicle in cash. If you're worried about the upcoming costs that you have due to impending maintenance or repairs on your current vehicle, remember, all vehicles have regular maintenance costs, even new ones, and all vehicles will eventually need repairs. Buying a new vehicle doesn't eliminate those costs. It just postpones them. Eventually, you will have to pay them for that new vehicle instead. At Grand Model Repair, we can help you decide if it's worth it for you to continue maintaining your current vehicle versus purchasing a brand new one. When you come in for a regular service, such as an oil change, our technicians will perform a vehicle health inspection free of charge. Or if you don't have any upcoming services scheduled with us, but you would still like to have a vehicle health inspection, give us a call. Let our service advisor know exactly what you're looking for and they can schedule you an appointment. Our technicians will go over your vehicle and give you a printed out report showing you all of the suggested maintenance and repairs that your vehicle needs in order of importance, along with estimated costs associated with all of those things. And if you're considering the purchase of a used vehicle and you want to know the current health of that vehicle before purchasing it, we can also perform a pre-purchase health inspection of that vehicle for you as well. Just give us a call and our service advisor will let you know the costs associated with any of these services. All in all, we're hoping that this video will help you to make an informed decision about the possibility of purchasing a new vehicle right now. We want to make sure that none of our customers get sucked into the hype or excitement of purchasing a new vehicle if right now just isn't the right time. Stay home and stay safe. And remember, if you need any essential services on your vehicle right now, we're here for you. You can set up an appointment over the phone by calling us at 253-847-2221 or you can schedule an appointment online at www.grandmodelrepair.com. We have contactless services available like being able to pay over the phone, being able to drop off your vehicle using our key drop box, or contactless courtesy pickup and drop off of your vehicle before and after services. If you're interested in the different steps that we're taking to consider the health of our team and of our customers, you can check out our other blog post called Health and Safety Update. Thank you for watching our video. We look forward to serving you and talking to you soon.